Hello everyone, this is Khalil, Managing Director of NCS Training Center. We are a training center specialized in Microsoft Dynamics Business Center training and we offer official training courses for Business Center. So if you have any request for any training courses online or on site, don't hesitate to drop me an email or give me a call. This is uh, the list of uh, what we cover actually in the trades course. And we are going to talk today about the item substitutions that is already covered in the trade course. But this is the full list of what we cover in this course. Let me go to the application and I will show you how we can do an item substitution. So this is my business central solution. I will open business central now. And this is my item list here. I'll go to Croatia, Canada, and this is my items list. So I'll open my items list to see list of my items with all the detailed information about them. Like I will see the item number, the description, the type, the inventory. Now this column here it says substituted exists which means that from this column I can I can see actually if this item has a substitute or no. So you see that most of these items they don't have substitutes for them. So but if I scroll down a little bit more I will see here that these two items they have substitute for them. And this Mexico swivel chair black a substitute item for it now the reason that we have substitute if we run out of stock for example for an item we can use the sub substitute for that item instead so if I click here on the yes I'll be able to see the substitute entries for the item that I selected and I will be able to see that the substitute for this Item 1968-S is 1980-S, which is the most cost we will share red. Now let's see how we can enter information. For example, the Tokyo guest chair does not have the blue Tokyo guest chair does not have a substitute for it. So if I click on no here. I will be able to create substitute for it. For example, I want the substitute for it to be 90, 08 dash S. And from here, I can make it in interchangeable. What does that mean, interchangeable? That it works in both directions. That means that the substitute for this item as well will be the Tokyo guest chair. Let's make this in interchangeable and we can put as well a condition. I can click on condition here and I can put a condition. For example, the condition, it will be information for information only. For example, I will use here, use this. substitute if no stock available so the sub, uh, the condition here again it will be for information only so again i select the tokyo 
guest chair and I bought some substitute for it and I bought a condition as well and if I click on condition again I will be able to see the condition that I bought okay so the the other thing that I would like to mention is that we can we can have more than one substitute for the same item like here I can enter another line 1968 for example dash s so I can make more than one substitute for the same item and I can make the other substitute non-interchangeable which it means that this will be the substitute for this item but it will not work the other way around so i can make many lines here as much as you want and i can put the variant code if there's any variant code let me show you how we can use and the advantage of using the substitution what do we use the substitution for an item for? So here I will go back to Kronos Canada and I will create new sales order. I will go back to orders. And I will create new order. This is the list of orders that I, that I already have on my system. But I will create new order just to show you how we can use the substitution. I will put the customer number and I will put here the item 19, it was, I think. Uh, let me select the London swivel chair. And I'll put here quantity 10. You see here this message that the available inventory is lower than the entered quantity, which means that I don't have enough inventory for this item that I entered here. There's another message about the customer balance. But for now, I will click on notification 3, which will show me the details for this item. And for this item, I'll be able to see from the details that there's a substitution for this item. Because I don't have it in inventory, there's shortage of this item inventory. But I'll be able to tell that there's substitution for this item, which is the Tokyo guest chair, the blue chair. This is number one. But if you notice in this screen that I don't have information about the inventory from the item substitution entry, there is another method that I can use, which is if I click here and scroll down a little bit, I'll be able to see the substitutions in the fax box. If I click on the one here, I will be able to see the inventory and it's obvious that I don't have inventory here for this item so this is the difference between navigating through the substitution inventory uh, or the substitution item from the fact box or I navigate from the message the fact box will give me information about the inventory and if I click OK here it will switch to the other item the substitution that I selected so I hope that video was useful and you can watch it again if you need to to have clearer idea but these are the points that you should know about having a substitution for an item that's it for today i hope that was useful and i hope an that answered your question because i got this question a lot about how we can use the substitution in business central 
have a good day and cheers bye